let's see if this works now. Jeff. Hello. That's weird. Jeff. I'm going to do what Rich says. I'm going to set the party up and then invite them in. Let's do that. Create private match. All the settings should still be there, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. All right. Change the custom rules. Let's take those white tees. That's weird. That's still not fixed. See all that crap at the top there? That's still not fixed. All right, let's see if it works now. Hey, John, how's it going? Gerard, how's it going? Jared. Ah, it's working now. That was very weird. Are you guys both there? Okay, all right, well, let's see what happens now because it's when I press this button that you guys disappeared. So hopefully this works. You still there? That's weird, man. It's not working. Ah, I can hear one of you. You both there? Ah, okay, it's working now. It's working. All right, so we need to change. <laughs> Which one of you is Canadian? Ah, uh, okay, cool. All right, change to blues, and then I think we're going. Ah, oh, there we go. I should have actually just looked at the flag. All right, so Bart, you're still showing us. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, I'm ready. Yeah. That's really weird, that is, that it... I mean, I've never had that problem before. They've obviously changed something because I know that it goes into this sort of um, game chat. But it... Yeah, it was weird because I was still stuck in like the party chat and I could, I could see the little icons were flashing and you guys were talking, but you weren't, you weren't actually... I couldn't hear you at all. So I knew that you guys were still chatting to one another. That must be the video. <laughs> okay, good. Let's get this going. Oh, we got a nice, uh, <clears throat> nice 13 mile an hour wind to see us on our way. First swing of the day, nice and fast. That'll do though. <laughs> Somebody's asking what type of biscuits I'm eating. I am eating homemade biscuits. Or as Americans would call them, cookies. Because biscuits in America are something completely different, right? Um, 
Uh, yeah, it is. It is what you guys call a cookie. It's uh, because biscuits are like, um, aren't they like? Uh, oh, I don't even know if we've got an equivalent thing in here in the UK. A bit like rusks or something like that. Yeah. It's more like cake, isn't it? Yeah. So how come I wonder I wonder why they don't put that that water tower as an object in the uh in the creator. Yeah. I think they need a bit of uh uniqueness for their courses. Nice strike. Oh, I like the um I like the flag. Do you drink milk? I do drink milk, yes. Tim, biscuits are like scones. Okay, all right, I get that, I get that. Mm, that's a good pitch shot. Your green's firm. See if I can just run this up a little bit. It's like the Ryder Cup all over again, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. They guy, the guys say they can't, they can't hear you in the chat. Can you not hear them at all, or is their volume really low? Great putts, guys. Uh, it just says that it just says your vol the your volume is really low, but I don't think that I can affect that from my side. I know they're saying they're not hearing anything, so it must be the party settings. So let's have a look at the party settings. Uh, let's. I'm going to try and create a party, and then they might be able to hear you in the party. So just bear with me for a second. I'm just going to try something here. Um, is it me to tee off? You guys still there? Now, I can't hear the guys at all either. Mm. Hey, Vlad. It's really weird group. See, I can't change any of my settings. Yeah, this has changed completely now. 
this isn't how it used to be so they've obviously done something to it because it just used to uh, it just used to transfer the uh, the party chat into the game chat I wonder if I leave this party Are you, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, so... Yeah, so whatever party you're in, just leave that party and join. I'm about to send you a new invite, so don't join. Just join the new one that I'm going to be going to send you now. All right, so if you press press the PS button... Yeah, so from the main screen, go all the way to the top where it says Party. And then go in, and down the right-hand side, there should be an option to leave the party. All right, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to create a new party now, and I'm going to invite you both in, which they can't hear me now. But nah, it ain't working. It is not. Hello, hello. No, nah, it's not working. Yeah, but I can't come out of the in-game chat, Rich. There's absolutely you can't you can't choose which chat to be in. I'm still in, I'm in both, because I'm in this and this, but they are showing as being in the in-game chat. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Hello. All right, so... There's a thing in there that well, I had to prioritise the game chat over the party chat. So you guys have obviously got the, the game chat as being priority. No, just, let, just leave it as it is. I mean, can everybody, can everybody hear the other two guys in the chat, in the stream? If not, we'll prioritise the party chat and see if it's any different. Okay, they can't hear you, so so if you go back to if you go back to party and go to party set go to party settings. And so change that to party chat. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, and the quality's better as well. So can everybody hear us in the party now? In the stream? Yeah, we can hear we I can hear you guys. Yeah, it's just a piece chat in here. Oh mate, they still can't hear you. Alright, go back to the party settings. And just make sure that where it says allow your voice to be shared, just make sure that's on all, always allow. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, I mean, you, if you do it on always allow, then you're never going to have the problem again. Cool. Okay. So everybody in the chat saying they can hear you now, so we are good to go. Wow. Okay. That was so that was, uh, that was a, a long-winded process. Apologies for those people in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're gonna have to start a new round, aren't you, uh, Tim? No, no, we're all we're all minus one, so it's all good. 
You should be able to hit, Bart. Okay. Alrighty. Sit down. These greens are definitely firm because the rollout is, is incredible. Yeah. I mean you must have had you must have had ten, fifteen yards worth of rollout there. I thought the wind was gonna take care of most of that, but Where's this course? Is it supposed to be Florida somewhere? Uh, um, I'm not quite sure. I hit that long so, too. Somewhere on the Atlantic coast, I would think. So <clears throat> But that could put it over there too. <laughs> yeah. Alright. 145. 10 mile an hour wind. Wow. If you go to, yeah. if you go to uh, YouTube and look for 58 degree live stream. Uh, it's Florida. Everybody's yeah. saying it's Florida. Oh, okay. Oh, nice chip. I should have worn my shorts. Get in the hole. Um, I believe it's a global patch. It must be a global patch, otherwise these guys in the stream wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to play the course. So, Tim Wilson, UK, or fifty-eight degree. Yeah, if you go to the website, um, fifty-eight degree, all one word, dot co dot uk, there's a link to the YouTube channel on there. You can go to. Uh, what are these greens? One forty-four. Live right now. Yeah, that's moderate, I think. Oh, I just didn't have enough beans. Mm -hmm. Not enough pottage in it. No. Nah. All right. Looks like we're going to get out of this without uh, any bother. Nobody's dropped a shot yet, which is good. Tim, did you get my request to join the TGA, TGCA official page? That would, uh, Matthew, that was that will go to um, either Phil or Lee or Martin because they uh, they administrate that page. So um, I'm sure when they're when one of those guys are free, they will they'll look at that for you. Hello. Uh, yeah. Right, 230 yards. Oh, mate, this is such a tough call. I'm going to try and sting this under the wind, I think. Come round. I thought it was going to kick a little more, Tim. Yeah. That wind's pretty strong. Yeah. Is that one of those new uh, PGA hats, Jeff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I could just see the logo on the side. Ooh, oh, yeah. Look. When took that quick? Yeah, it's weird. I, I, because it was more of a, it sort, it looked more of a crosswind than it did a headwind. That I didn't think mm -hmm. it was. Uh, 
I didn't think it was going to have that much of an effect, but uh, it certainly did. We're going to have similar putts, but uh, Bart, you've got the advantage of seeing how we both turned out now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's saying those. Doesn't mean I'll hit it, but I'll try. Somebody's saying those uh, those tea pegs look like um, look like ghosts. The little turtles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that is going to be a tricky, tricky putt, Jeff. It's got a good line. I wonder how often these Sit. people replace the windows on this course. Yeah. <laughs> I should be able to get... I'm going to get a good read off of your putt. Looks like yours breaking just one way. Mine looked like it was breaking both. My putt line Same was thing. absolutely terrible, though. <laughs> Rich has put some pictures of little ghosts in the uh, in the stream chat, and they look exact. <laughs> they look exactly like the tea pegs, but the tea pegs are black. <laughs> Oh, slow down. Stop, stop. This is a nice course, though. I like this. Yeah, it is a nice course. I wonder if they're going to extend the trophy list so those people that have already platinum the game, do they do they ever do that? Do they ever extend the trophy lists? Um, I'm not That's sure. hard to say, isn't it? Because, like... It's almost like they forgot all about TGC too. Because this is, I mean, this is uh, one of the sort of um, official courses, isn't it now? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you would have thought that they would put um, some trophy challenges on it. Wow, I tell you what, we're matching each other stroke for stroke at the minute. Yeah, because I think they said they were putting it in the career mode schedule. So. There's a lot of houses on this course, that's for sure. All right, you ready? You there with us, Bart? Bart, you still there? Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Right, somebody's got the stream on in the background again. Yeah, that's my son. It's gone. That's cool. Ah, I got another fast. That's going to be ugly. That needs a bounce if I've ever seen one. That's going to be an end. That's going to, this will this will test out the new rough if they have changed the rough. But yeah. I believe that I believe they haven't. But I don't think they have. Has anyone? I completed think that was the general rough? consensus when uh, Phil was playing it a while ago. Yeah, he mentioned that. He did say that uh, it didn't seem like they had because Brian had just hit one in the rough and he had something like a ninety-eight to a hundred percent lie. I definitely think they should have levels of punishment. So if you're in the light rough, you've still got a half a chance. It should be like uh, maybe 85 to 95 in the light rough. And then right. 65 to 85 in the uh, in the heavy rough or something like that. Well, yeah, because yeah, some of these in par fours, you can drive. You're, yeah. They're drivable. And you really, you go ahead and drive them because the rough's not punishing you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because in the TGC2, the rough punished you. Yeah, so you were a little hesitant to drive up. 
a par four because you didn't want that bad yep. chip shot. That's really weird. They've changed the viewing angle. If I press, after you've played your shot, if I press back on the direction pad, it takes me all the way back to the tee box. Huh. All right. I don't like the way the shot clock changes halfway through a chip or a putt or something. It, it seems like it picks up speed on the second view. <laughs> Come on. All right, I need to try and get closer than that, but that's going to be tough from the rough. Let's have a look at this lie. 93 to 100 in heavy rough. Okay. <laughs> No chance. No chance it should be that. All right, so Matt Brown is asking, Jeff, where are you in the US and where is Bart in Canada? I am I'm... in North Carolina. So you're close to this course. And I'm in uh, Southern Ontario. Just about 50 miles east of Toronto. Good shot. Nice shot, Tim. Cheers. But I'm originally from Maryland, so I am a Terrapin fan, so those turtles on the tee boxes are really nice. Lag putt, good pace. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, good putt. Thanks. So Rich says, Go Terps. Fear the fear the turtle. I'm hoping yep. that I hope that means something to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good put. Cheers. We haven't had a um, we haven't had the uh, a par five yet, but uh, oh, there's two there's back to back par fives, six and seven. So, Rich is saying, spent my childhood in Landover, Maryland. Yep, that's about two hours from where I grew up. See if we can uh, do a little bit better on this one. That's better. Come on, wind. Hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, that's looking good. Wow, that came in really softly. Yeah, Brian was saying um, they got a shed load of snow in Canada overnight. Ah, uh, we didn't get any. They must be out, out west or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Calgary? Could be down east too, I guess, but... Oh, that looks good as well. That's better than mine. Good man. When I start getting snow here, I don't get much sleep because I plow it with my machine, so... And last winter we had a lot. We don't like that. No, no I don't love it. It's monotonous after a while. <laughs> no snow in Warwickshire. Rich, where where are you then, Rich? Oh, that's a bad swing line. Should come back a little bit. Oh no, it didn't quite reach that slope. 
uh, my swing line was way outside of the blue. And as you know, I got a pretty big blue area there. But I missed it. Yeah, here in the south, we don't like the word snow. People freak out and wipe out the grocery stores. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see if we can... I'll tell you what the difference is on these these greens. I mean, they are they do play a lot like the uh, the other TPC courses. Is that there? There's not a great deal of break in them, or not not severe, right. not severe break in them, like uh, like the user created courses. But it still affects you. Yeah, definitely. Good putt. Oh, Get in thought... there. Oh. I tried to hit through the uh, through the break, but it did drop it just at the end. Ah, oh, you're not too far from me then, Rich. If you're in Coventry or you're in Kenilworth, which is near Coventry. Oh, good part. Nice. Nice part. Jeff's going to have the honour on the next tee box. Um, Steel Bean say, are we enjoying the patch? Any improvement? I, I, I honestly, I can't see any improvement. No, the, except that we got a new course. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the improvement that you're seeing right here in that it is a new course. But from a gameplay... I mean, they were talking about trajectories and spin, but there's nothing. There's no difference at all. So whether the patch was something in the lead-up to that... Yeah, I mean, there's a massive big 2K logo of, on the startup screen when you... Um, just after the HP Studios logo... Um, and you have to sign the uh, EU. Uh, mind you, you guys probably wouldn't have signed that. Did you get the EULA thingy? Yes, I did. Yes. Ah, yep. two, okay. two pages, one from 2K and one from uh, HB, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, there was that. Um, there's a few hats. Uh, I think Jeff is it, is Jeff's displaying one at the moment. So uh, you'll see that next time Jeff hits his shot. Um, I went and looked at the hats and I had to, the, even the PGA ones, I had to purchase. Yeah, you, I purchased mine. Yeah, you have to oh, buy, okay. you have to buy everything. You have to buy everything. With I mean, your I, coins. Yeah, I spent, yeah. I think I spent two grand on my shoes and they, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, there's nothing else you can use your money on, so you might as well. Yeah, that's true. I've got about thirty thousand of them or something. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I've I'm used tight I, with them. I spent a little bit on skins games, but there's not there's nothing yeah, else. Yeah, but it you, kicks you. Yeah, there's nothing else you can do on them, so or do with them. Yeah. Uh, so somebody's saying coding restructure Tim to improve improvity. Um, not really. Um, Howling Wolf, the trajectory is being done behind the scenes, as is the rough after this patch. Should be about a week. Ah, okay. Okay. Did you put draw on that, or did you hit a slow? I mean, fade. I hit a little bit of a fade at the top of my swing. Nice. Very nice. All right, so if you have a if you have a look at Jeff's hat there, you could be able to see the PGA Tour logo just uh, just on the on the white bit just behind the front of the hat. Oh, is that going to run out? Sit. Oh, unlucky. How far is that there? Two seventy one. Man, oh man. <laughs> Go! 
Get up! Oh. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I was thinking that, Vlad. If they, even if they just stuck in a bit of uh, a bit of Nike gear and a bit of Adidas gear, that would be uh, that'd be great. And a bit more Under Armour stuff. I mean, what have they got? One pair of trousers, one shirt, or two pairs of trousers and two shirts? Are that, are, are, have they got any Under Armour caps? Uh, yes, they do. Yeah, but it's for a uh, a visor it's a career sponsor. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I, haven't done, I haven't done any of my career. Oh, sorry, that's not strictly true. I've done the web.com because I left the AI guys in there, but I'm not starting my PGA Tour career until I finish changing all the AI names now. But um, it's just taking me so long. I've done about 150 of 300 at, so far. Yeah, I got all mine changed. Did I'm you cha mine. I don't type so good. Did you change the, the photos as well? Uh, just a couple of them. I took the ladies off of there. Yeah. Kind of put, put a photo of what they kind of look like. <laughs> yeah, it'd just be a little bit weird to leave the uh, leave the women on. Like, you've got a picture... Well, you've got, like, Dustin Johnson's name and you've got a picture of a lady on there. It'd just be a bit strange. Right. <laughs> okay. um... All right. That is a little bit of rough. Spin? No. No, I hit a fast on it. You flopped it. I did flop it. It's uh, it is unusual, but it was uh, it was sort of twenty twenty three twenty four yards. So it fit perfect, eh? Oh. All right, this is for a birdie. It is for a birdie. Let's see if we can capitalize. Good put. That'll do. Uh, Duncan Holst. That's a name I don't recognize. Duncan Holst. How do you have a 250-yard carry on your three-wood? Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is in relation to. Is it because the others have less carry? It's because they are using different club sets to me. I'm using the Masters. Jeff's using the Pro. Mm -hmm. And Bart's using the Pro 2. Or the baby clubs, as I like to call them. The Bart's beginner... using the beginners. The Fisher-Price yeah. clubs. Yeah, yeah. Plastic ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get differing uh, you get differing carry distances based on the the club set that you use. Can't get away from and you at the moment, wind Jeff. Too, eh? Yeah, true. Roadkill Ron's just come into the stream. Welcome. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there, um, Glenn. It would be good to. Uh, to see uh, NB, well, 2K Sports bring some of the uh, some of the great names, great brands that they've got in the NBA through into the golf because they must share some of the brand names. But I, Could you grab oh, me a Coca Cola? Everybody? That is terrible. Oh, I'm going to get away with it. Thank you. That's going to be get a kick. Oh That's my be goodness! Right. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if only I'd have played for that. <laughs> we don't yeah. know no different. I mean, it it would be interesting to see what what two K do bring to the party because so far all they've done is stuck a logo on the game, and I know it was announced at the at sort of the eleventh hour just before the game went live that 2k is now involved so it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what they actually do start adding to the game hmm. 
Yeah, Ron, that is what you call a uh, a Wilson bounce, yeah. Wow, that was strange. Did you get that same animation there, Jeff? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Where he swung the club before it actually sounded like... Uh... Yep. <laughs> he hit it. I it always think my... A bit or something. Yeah, too. I always think I'm getting ready to get disconnected when that happens. Mm. It's always a worrying sign, isn't it? Oh, can I get this green or not? Go two, big or go home, I guess. Two, 241 with a 13 mile an hour slight tailwind. That should be absolutely on the money for you. Oh, look at that. That is golden. That is golden. That's oh, sad. man. That is absolutely Thank on you. the money. That's got eagle written all over that. How do I follow that? With a tree in the way as well. well let's see what we can do here. Let's put a cheeky little bit of drawer on it. Oh no, that's not going to end well. Sit down. I hit slow. Yeah, that's going to work out. It's not quite going to hold. Oh, I just was just outside the uh, the top blue bar to get that slow. Just pushed it off to the right a little bit. Damn it. Nice flop shot. Go. Cool. Thank you. That's a great flop Good shot. shot. Wow. Good shot. All right. So that means I've actually got to, I've got to get this in to keep pace because I would imagine you're going to sink that shot of yours. Mm. Don't like this one at all. Didn't roll out. Put too much loft on it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nice eagle. Great eagle. Thank you. Nice birdie there, Bart. Thank you. for you too Tim cool thank well, you I guess you wanted yep. the eag but yeah Might that was be. good from where he was at yeah we yeah, are at... sure, eh? we're all under par no drop shots so it's going well at the moment you had to say that didn't you <laughs> <laughs> I do like this course though I really do like this course yeah it's, it's nice I can't remember which one it was in the Tiger Woods series that was very similar to this. I think they nailed the game. Like I, I, I think they made the the long game a little easier, maybe with the the roughs not punishing too much, but the short game, I believe, is tougher. Yeah. And right. I think that's the way it should be, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you would like to think that the difficulty should be fairly similar all the way around, but uh, I, I, I definitely struggle more with the with the short game in this than I did in TGC two, um, and even more so to TGC one because the short game in that was just way too easy. Yeah, and that's why I went from the masters down to the pro clubs because chipping around the greens just was killing me hey. 
Sit. Wow. And I clubbed down there as well. I clubbed that down to 158 and that went 174 yards. There is no way a 7 iron should go, <laughs> should roll uh, on that I much. Hit, I hit the 154 club in my bag and it still went past. Well, then I should hit the 150, I guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. That should be that should be absolutely bang on the money. That should. Yep. Get in the hole. Look at that. Look at that. Best one of the Thanks lot. For the tips, guys. Good shot. Great shot. Yeah. Get in. Oh. Oh, just missed. This game does do that a lot, eh? Where it'll just go right over the edge of the hole so slowly and... Unlucky. You push that. Yep. Pushed it. And shows how it's done, Bart. Nice. You're going to have the honour on the next hole. On my screen, it looked like he swung and missed it. <laughs> I, know some, I know sometimes when you're playing, um, when you're playing alt shot, you take the shot and the ball's still there on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, that looks funny. It's like, hey, wait a minute, what happened there? I heard it get hit. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. 253-yard driver. Short par yeah. four. You should be all good here. Sounded nice. Yeah, beautiful. Apps getting better all the Good time. Sure. Thank you. Funny, I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done this before with you. So. Another great strike. But it's only a game, and it's all for fun. So. Yep. Yeah. That's what I normally say when the haters come out of the woodwork. Mate, it's just a video yeah. game and it's just YouTube. Chill out. Yeah. Hey, I gotta tell you, I've learned a lot from watching you, Cathal, Lee, Phil. Just about how to attack it, you know, the aiming and all that. Yeah, it's quite weird because... We we all have quite different styles of play. Um, I mean, Lee and I play quite quickly. Um, Lee probably looks a little bit more than I do. He probably takes even a little bit longer than I do, uh, considering the slopes on the green. I know I try and put my ball more in the fairway to allow myself a shot into the green. Whereas a lot of other people don't do that. So in other words, if the pin is tucked on the left-hand side of the green, I'll try and place my ball on the right-hand side of the fairway. Um, so I take quite a bit of time with that. But uh, Cathalos 1991, he takes his time over everything. You know, if you've seen him on putts, um, any shots, you know, he looks at it from behind the green as well you know he really does mm -hmm. analyze yeah. quite a lot but i mean he shoots low scores but for me you know i sort of think to myself it is a game i do want to enjoy it um i don't want to spend 45 minutes to an hour playing 18 holes i'd rather get two two rounds in and play 36 hole in the same period of time yeah have you ever gone and seen Cathalos uh, 
uh, designing a course. Yes. Man, he's got a lot of lines out there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd, he... I'd lose track of them all. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is that, that that is exactly... If you're creating an RCR and you want to get those yardages bang on, those are the lengths you have to go to in order to to achieve such great results. I mean, have you seen his Celtic Manor course? Yeah. I mean, yep. that is... I know, is, they're beautiful, eh? It is absolutely outstanding. But the thing is, is it takes hundreds and hundreds of hours you know it's 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 crazy the amount of time it takes to to do it yep i'll tell you what i have been watching recently as well and he will uh well i don't know whether he watches my videos but um crazy canuck has put out a designer series like a tutorial series. yeah i've been watching that they're yep. really good they're really really oh, yeah. good um and you know, I, I'm I'm half tempted because I've got the game on PC as well. I'm half tempted to to get back on there and really see whether I can employ some of these these things that he's put into his tutorials because it looks like it's a lot easier now than it was in TGC it two. Is. So um, I really want to I really want to jump back on it and give it another go. I think I have trouble understanding all the tools in it. Yeah, I mean, even him in his in his in his videos in his in his own tutorial videos, even he says, you know, because there are flattened tools and there are there are um, sculpting tools, and he even by his own admissions that was unlucky. Um, even by his own admission, he said he doesn't use the red the red circles; he only uses the blue ones. So, uh, and he says. There's only certain times he actually uses the red ones and he actually goes on to show how he uses those when he's creating rough around bunkers, sort of pot bunkers in the middle of fairways. But it's the only time he uses them. But you should really should check those videos out. I think there's about 10 in the series, but they are really, really good. I, I'm going to go look at them. Shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Crazy Canuck. Yeah, I think it's Crazy Canuck. 1985. 1985. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is. Keep it, watching streams. I won't even have to play the game anymore. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely harder to create an RCR than it is to create a fictitious course. Because when you're yeah, creating an RCR, to get everything exactly like they are, right? Yeah, it's the authenticity, yep. and the thing is, is that people people will never judge a course that is a fictitious course in the same way that they will judge a RCR, and that's just the that's just the nature of it, right? Steel Bean, your course in TGC2 was very good, Tim, so give it a try on TGC. My course in TGC2, in comparison to some of the beautiful creations that people put out in this game, was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> well, that's the thing, too, is that I, I started noticing in TCG2 that a lot of people were just doing templates. And then even though they got their own name on it, you're playing basically the same course over and over and over. So I thought, well, I don't want to be doing that. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't stand the auto-generated courses. It's, uh, it, they're, uh, it's just rubbish. It really is rubbish. I can understand when people want to go and give it a bash, but. Yeah. You know, I, I would be embarrassed to actually publish a course that hasn't really had a decent amount of hours put into it. And yeah, especially some guys have like many betas to the same thing and they publish them all. It's like, why don't you just keep them, you know, until you got it perfected and then yeah. publish it. I mean, the, the, the problem is, is that the PC guys are a little bit different because they those courses give them to somebody else and let somebody actually play test them without publishing it we can't do that on console so that's why you right. have to create beta versions of your game i've just yanked that again uh, that's why you have to create those versions of the game so if you want people to play test them for you that's the only way you can do it like matthew cooney for example has created bear mountain 
And I think there's about three versions of Bear Mountain now because he created it, let people play it, got some feedback, tweaked it, published a second version, got some more feedback. Right. To, you know, And that's the only way you can do it. Unfortunately, it just absolutely swells the course list with all of these beta versions of a course. Yep, right. I created one that Phil and Lee played the other day as a course review. And I mean, they gave me good feedback, so I've been trying to switch it and change it up. And then I'm going to have to just post it as a tournament course now. I probably watched that stream, uh, Jeff. Uh, what was your course name? Wildwood Greens with the wide fairways. And the... Yeah, I, I watched that okay. one. Yeah. 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 So I've changed a lot of stuff that they said they didn't really the like, critique. but yeah. Yeah. So we'll see another one out soon. Yeah, I'll I'll just put out a tournament one next with like the stands and all and the crowd and everything that I fixed in it and then that'll be right. the last one. I think most of the criticism if I remember correctly on that was around the around the greens, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. About the being too much slope around the holes. Um well the slope in the fairways too. He wanted to. They said they didn't you know, the slope in the fairway too much, but they still shot nine under, I think, on there. <laughs> yeah. And this, I mean, I don't know whether you guys were in the stream the other day when Phil was playing. I can't remember which one it was. It was one of those beautiful courses, and I think he shot something like fourteen under par, and then. I posed the question to him, do you think that when somebody is creating such a fantastic looking course that sometimes the playability or the fact that it should be a playable golf course gets forgotten because you're concentrating too much on making it look good? Yeah. I believe that was the uh, right. the Calico. Calico, yep. yeah, that was it, yeah. Yeah, and I, 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 I do think, remember you asking the question. Yeah, I think sometimes that is the case. I think that sometimes people forget that a course albeit can look amazing if it's if it's if it's boring to play because you're shooting really good scores it can have quite a short shelf life yes this game is awesome for that though there's there's like literally no end to games like courses i don't know if you could ever play them all right <laughs> Yeah, no, I, and the th that's what I mean. That's one of the things that I love doing, and I know I know Phil and Lee love doing it as well. And that's finding these gems that people know nothing about. Where you have this this designer, and you don't know who this person is. It could be a kid sitting in his bedroom, and he's absolutely created this masterpiece, but he doesn't have the pedestal or the soapbox to stand up and say, "Check out my course," you know. And right, uh, right. we're able to discover these courses. And sometimes it is just looking at the newly published courses and we, we stumble across these absolute beautiful courses, showcase them on our channels. And then they get, you know, they get everybody in the society or everybody that watches the streams. They get to see these courses. And if it, oh, ooh, nice I thought shot. that was going to be in. Right. Um, and if it wasn't for that, you know, it would just be people stumbling across these courses. So, um, I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I love trying to find, uh, you know, hidden gems. I think it's it's great. I love just watching the stream, and then if I like the look of the course, I can go and search it up and play it right away. Yeah, and the fact that you can drop somebody's ghost ball in there as well is also pretty cool. Yes. So they don't have to be online at that point oh. in time, you know. If you don't watch the stream even, you know, you can... I mean, I don't have the scores on my screen, so I, n I never know what somebody shot on the course. If I've watched the stream, then I know that. But if, if I jump onto a course and I I'm looking for a ghost ball, I have the scores switched off. So I never know what that person has shot, um, which means that it adds that extra bugger, that extra element, that extra challenge. And uh, that, I, I like that. I, I really like the fact I didn't that. know you could... I didn't know you I could turn their scores off. I didn't either. Yeah, so if you go into... Um, I'll see if I... I don't know whether I can do it from here. But if you go into settings... Uh-huh. Um, I don't know whether I can do it. Hold on. 
Don't go mucking up the game, Tim. Yeah, if you go to settings <laughs> and you and you go to social, um, and there's a box that says show ghost scores, just switch that oh. off. Just switch that oh, off. Oh, okay. And then you won't know what they scored. You'll know they played around, which is pretty cool, right. because then you can choose to play against somebody that you know or somebody that you've communicated with in chats or streams, but you won't know what they've scored. So it's like playing them live. Yeah, I, nice. I actually, when I played the Sega Open Society, my first round I shot 13 under, so I was tied with you, Tim, so I used your ghost ball in the second round. All right. <laughs> um, but I, I but I knew what you shot, and I, I didn't match it. I was, I think, two shots. Yeah, that course is... The funny thing is, is that I don't remember that course being that easy in TGC2. It was pretty easy, but that was one of my favorite courses. I, I think that's a beautiful course. But. I, I remember that. I remember that from TGC2, and I remember that being one of my favorites as well. Well, you're two shots clear now. You've been uh, creeping ahead quite uh, quietly. A little bit of a silent assassin there. <laughs> Vlad, thanks for joining the stream, buddy. Take care. Oh, this one might hurt. Oh. Nice. Good bounce. Yes. Yep. These winds are tough to fight with the baby clubs, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Me Fisher Price. <laughs> Good ball. Cheers. Yeah, it'll be interesting to actually see that, Rich. Rich has mentioned, you know, when you're playing in the uh, in the society tournaments, if you don't back out to the main screen when you play your second round, you actually play the same pin set as the first round. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see whether that's one of the things they've actually fixed in the patch. So I heard they did, I think. Unlucky. Whoa. Unlucky. It looked a bit hot going in, but I didn't expect it to roll that far off. I wanted to shave that a bit, but, you know, loft it a bit, but the wind was so strong, I thought, hmm. All right, now that you've played that shot, did you put any loft on that? The one I just hit? Yeah. Two bars. Yeah. Like two dots up. A lot of rollout, eh? I don't think that wind. That wind. It, has yeah, it any... should put a stick. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna try and put this. I'm gonna try and put this pretty much on the flag. With that, as it lies, that 145 club. Let's see how much of an impact that wind has. Oh, sit it's on it. It's looking good. Yep. All right, so that's definitely the club. So that came 139. So that, it didn't take much off that. No, no, way. it didn't. Huh. And it should have, really, with nine mile an hour wind. Oh. That sounded like a beer bottle. A beer top. Yeah, my shot. <laughs> I 
Hmm. Yeah, it rolled out a lot easier than it rolled back, didn't it? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> you certainly rammed that one in there. Yes, sir. I didn't want it to stop short <laughs> again. Nice birdie. Cheers. I was going to say, so it is a good thing the hole was there, because that would have been the other side of the green otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one shot behind now. A few holes to go. Let's see if I can catch up. Oh, I've got a cheeky little par three. Let's have a quick look at the green, see which way it's rolling. 12 mile an hour wind. Should move this from right to left. Let's have a look at the yardage. Playing 159. That should be good. Get up there. That'll do. Nice shot. Looks like pretty flat putt. I suppose that's the benefit of going, uh, Going second and third is you get to see the yardages, what somebody hits. Well, you get to see yeah. the club. You don't get to see how much loft they put on it. That's a great strike. Right. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, I definitely think that's something that should be controlled by the host, is that if I choose white tees and I choose... Sorry, if I choose... Yeah, like white tees, which is the longest tees, and pin set one, that should be applicable for everybody in the party. They shouldn't have the option to be able to change that. Because right. like, otherwise it's not fair for, you know, if somebody goes and chooses, chooses a shorter tee or, or, or something along those lines. I mean, everybody has a choice of what clubs they play with, but I think that the, the pin set and the tee box should be determined by the host. But it's normally an agreement anyway. Yeah, no, I agree. It would just make it simpler so that, you know, you don't get in and somebody forgot to change. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the course conditions, isn't it? You know, whether it's windy, whether, you know, right. whether, whether you've got yeah. the, the green grid on, what time of day it is, all that other stuff that you can, you can muck around with now. Well, I think somebody else said it once before. Like when I played your ghost ball in the society event, you had a different win than I did. Really? In the second one. Uh, yeah, a little bit different. Yours was like eight or nine, and mine was like four or five. That's weird, because in TGC2, the society events were the only thing that had the consistent wins. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I noticed it a couple holes, but not sure if it was like that all the, the whole time, but... But I think it might have been Ian that was saying something about that one day. Uh, Hollywood Swinger, they should also make lobbies for four ball matches. This garbage of having to f have people on your friends list and invite them. You go to a lobby called four ball and play a match. Yeah, it's weird. 15 and Tim is allowed one more biscuit before bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to get up to 15 likes. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice, guys. If there's anybody in the stream, I tried to give away a code for this game earlier uh, to Matthew Brown. Unfortunately, Matthew's unable to use it because he's based in the US and the code is 
a European code. But if anybody is on the PS4 that doesn't yet have this game that would like a code for a full version of the game, send me a message on the PSN and I'm quite happy to send you a code for the game so we can build this community. Um, I have one code left. I gave another one out earlier to somebody um, and I have one code left. Shit. I hope that's not going to affect it too much. Oh, don't go under the tree. That's where I was. No, you should be all right there. I was under there earlier. David, did you send me a message to 58 Degree or to Tim Wilson UK? Just a, a quick question. Did you go three wood there, or did you go driver? I oh, went driver. Oh, you went driver, but you're on the pros, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I had to drop down to three wood, but I would have gone way out of the fairway with a driver. You should be all right with the Fisher prices. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Great strike. Nice little punch shot through there. Yeah, I was thinking about employing the punch shot. Right, mm. Dave David, I've just seen your um I've just seen your friend request. I think I've accepted it, and as soon as I'm finished this game and I go offline, I will send you that code. Are you based in the UK? I'm did afraid that, of punch shots. Did unless that hit? I absolutely need it. Did you hit the tree there, Bart? I don't think I touched it, Tim. Yeah, you did hit a little bit of it. I heard it. Okay. So that means, uh, I yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to hit that tree. I don't know if you were or not. Yeah, you're just saying that because you're one shot ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I shot the 106 and lofted it up just a hair. Couple of couple of bumps. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna try here. We've got a night. We've got a 12 mile an hour win. I'm gonna try something a little bit cheeky here. Punch it and take, or pitch it and take some of the roll from the right side. I'm gonna try and use a seven iron and pitch this. In fact, Let's just see what the slope's doing. It's an uphill slope, so let's go for the 96. Let's take a little off of it. This could go all kinds of ugly, but let's try. I like to try these new shots. Oh, that's looking nice. Sit down. That'll do. Nice shot. Nice That'll shot. Do. Wouldn't be a decent round of golf if I wasn't in the trees at some point. That came out well. Is it going to get the roll? Oh, no. unlucky. Do you hit the gap wedge there? Get up, get up, get up. A little weak. That should be bread and butter for you, that Jeff. Look at that. 
Pack. Pack. Like, sh like shelling peas. <laughs> Easy. Good put. Uh, Brian, so now having played some, what are your thoughts? Uh... What, since the patch? Absolutely no different. I don't notice any difference whatsoever. I don't know about you guys. Just a new course. Yep. Just a new course. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just a new course. The thing is, if I jumped on any course that I hadn't played before, it would be a new course. So it's it's not really... I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that's improved the gameplay for me and that was the thing that I was looking for oh I've done it again that's going to be that's going to be horrible and that's going to be a horrible shot now ah That's going to be tough now. That's going to be really tough. Great shot. Way to capitalise on my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I know how tough it. I've been a little bit wayward with the old uh, with the old drives tonight. Tempo's a little bit off. I normally have to play a couple of rounds for me to get into a bit of a groove, so I'm putting it down to that. A little bit of rustiness. See, I'm like the opposite. Once I play a couple rounds, I'm all over the place, but when I first pick it up and start playing, I'm better. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I'm, the other, <laughs> I'm the opposite of you, Jeff. I, my first couple, I just can't get my thumb to work right or something. Yeah, I, mine, I'm a bit like that. I have to. It's almost like I have to warm up yeah yeah i'm totally different if i sit here and play this half the night i'll be all over the course <laughs> nice strike a little bit short that's going to check up yeah. as well i pushed that a little bit and i thought it was going to make it but this is going to be interesting. i thought wrong this is going to be very interesting eight mile an hour wind Still pretty good percentage out there. The slope's all right, though. The slope's all right. All right let's see what happens here. That's looking good. Get up there. Uh, okay. You'll have... That's in your range. That'll do. Jesus, Brian. Did you play for seven hours today? <laughs> My goodness me. You'll end up with RSI playing that long, mate. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Check out. Straight, Jeff. Thanks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank I think you. I think he's got me by the short and curlies now. One shot ahead within ten feet. Hello, Jordan. I need to sink this bad boy. That's gotta be gettable for you there, Bart. Yeah, it looks I'd play it straight in. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Oh, turn back, turn Didn't back. Hit it. Oh, wow. Was it uphill? No, he's just got a plastic putter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any decent purchase on the ball with that plastic putter. I'm always afraid to blast it over the hole, so I, I, I do come up short somewhat often. This is the worst part of my game is the putting, I believe. But that's See, probably true for a lot of people. Yeah, so for me, I'd rather go past the hole. Uh, unless it's downhill. 
unless it's downhill. That's my only. Right. That's, that's the only caveat to that. Um, but when I'm putting uphill, I'd rather get it two foot past the hole. Well, well in, well in. Two shots clear now. Four to play. Okay. I've got, I've got my work cut out. I need a couple of eagles coming in here now. Well, let's see. For the one par five. Three. Right, I feel I feel there's a hole in one coming up here. Yeah, and I hope I get it. <laughs> there it is. No, it's too long. No, too deep. Ugh. How much did you take off that 174 club? I I didn't take anything because you didn't take anything off that 145, that other hole. It's bizarre, isn't and it? And it turned out perfect. See you later, Brian. Thanks for joining the stream, buddy. Yeah, it almost seems like if you move it for the wind, the wind won't affect it. If you don't move it, the wind will grab it. See, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go for the one six nine here, because the one five eight, if it hits that slope on the green, is not gonna get near the pin. So let's add a bit of loft on this bad boy, and let's see what uh, what happens here. Wow, that wind moved that from left to right like something terrible. Did you put wow. a lot of loft on that or no? No, I put a bit on it, but not a lot. But it came up way short. Came up 11 See, yards to... shy. If I'm hitting a 178 club with a 10 mile an hour wind in my face, I should be able to hit that full and it should go right on the stick. See, right. if, the, if, if you've got a direct headwind, I normally add exactly the amount of yards as there are miles per hour. Right. So a 10 mile an hour headwind, I would add 10 yards to that shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Hit Oof. stick. Oh. Um, but when they're slightly off the left or off the right, I take a little bit off of that. But there was a slope on the green and upslope. And it, it, oh man, look at that. 32 feet. This is going to be a horrible putt. Uh, right, 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 right. I've right, seen right. you sink these, Tim. Uh, I have. It has been few and far between, but uh, I'm going to certainly give it my best best attempt. Get in. Oh, a mm. bit more, bit more pace, and that would have been yep, in. Good putt. Good putt. Uh, Bossman UK, evening guys, what's the update? Not an awful lot at the moment. This is the new course. That's a great putt. Good putt, good putt. Thank you. Um, this is the new course, Atlantic Beach Country Club with the uh, the little turtles for tee boxes uh, or tee box markers. Uh, a lot of palm trees, a lot of uh, houses or villas. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I needed you. I was willing that out of the hole, mate. It was like a magnet. It was like a magnet pulling it away. Um, yeah, there's not an awful lot of difference in the gameplay right now, boss man. It. Uh, I thought that we would see more. There's uh, there's a big 2K logo when it starts up, but. Uh, not an awful lot more than that. I can't tell you an awful lot more, but uh, I have been assured by some people in the chat, in the stream, that there are some changes to trajectory and spin and all of that lovely stuff. Uh, more punishing lies when you get in the rough. That that stuff's coming apparently. Oh, look at that! Did you uh, did you put a little bit of fade on that, or was that the wind? Uh not that. That was the wind. I I did. In my short shot line, 
I went off to the right in the top, but it stayed in the blue, so. Just a bit. So where's the pin here, on the green? It's on the other stall. Uh... Hmm. Not sure. Might be in the back. See, that's one of the things when I play, is I always have a look at where the pin is on the green, because that's going to affect your second shot coming into the, into the green. And that is, yep. down the right-hand side, looking where that pin is, is probably the best place. I believe so. That's where I tried to hit it. I don't know. Let's have a quick look. Let's move forward to the green here a bit. Let's move out. Yeah, it's right at the back. Right at the back of the green. That's better. Nice and straight. Nice and long. Yeah, that'll do. Lots of green to work with, so we should be good. Okay. Did you pull it? Uh oh. Stay there, stay there. Oh, good. I had visions of it rolling off that soft side of the, into the water. No, I think Phil went over there when he played earlier and it stopped on the bank. Does that green roll from right to left? Um, yeah, yep. Very slightly, yes. Very I, I slowly, so, yeah. but until you get over near the water, then it starts to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Just where you don't want to be. All right, let's see if you get 20 yards of roll here now. Oh, nice. Looking good. Ah, oh, mate, you just put pressure on me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's water on the left. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've just hit a uh -oh. fast. I've hit a fast. That's in the water. Damn it. It, it was dead straight as well. Oh, that is just piss poor. That's just ruined the game. Unlucky. I should have should have capitalised there. I could have got that nice and close. The yardage was absolutely bang on, but I just completely balls it up. That was a really awkward lie I had there as well. It was on the fairway, but it was sloping drastically from right to left. Uh, so the best I can get is a bogey here. The worst I can get is God knows what. Oh, get in. Ooh. Good chip. Nice try. All right, so this is for bogey. This is not good. I stayed away from the chips for the longest time, but then I thought, well, I'm going to have to start using them, so practice range. Yeah, I have to say I'm not I'm not a big fan of the short shots, the flops or the chips. Um, and I think it's because I haven't really got in my head what the yardages are yet. Um, I did practice with the... Yeah, they tend the... to roll out quite a bit, eh? Yeah, I did practice with the... I'll tell you what I did do. I practice with a a fifty. Oh, unlucky! Um, I think the the shortest pitch shot I think is fifty eight yards with the master clubs. Uh, and if you're in a bunker with a seventy two to eighty three percent lie, and you fully loft it, 
it will go about 27 yards and stop completely stone dead. So hmm. it was it was only sort of around the greens on the on the practice area that I I managed to find that out. But um, yeah, look at that! I'm the only one that's posted a bloody red number. I usually get a few of them, Tim. I'm actually yeah, we're not done yet. I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Give me. I shouldn't have said anything, but. I don't think there's any water on this hole, is there? Yes. There is. Oh, is there? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to push that. I'm just going to take it the way it is. I don't want to push it into the water. Nice. Good drive. Thanks. Really good drive. That look, that that looks like that's drivable for with the uh, with the master clubs. I might have been so able to make it if I fully de-lofted it, but I was afraid that if I did that and went Aaron. A little bit stronger win, I might be able to get it with these. I think you'll get it. Ooh, nope. Okay. Tim will get it. Yeah. yeah if, if I don't yank it and put it in the water again. It's a long putt, though. It's a long putt. 16 yards, so that is 48 feet. You were slow on that. Oh, yeah, I got a very slow. Yeah. You could see as soon as it came off the club face, it went right. Mm -hmm. Bummer. I thought I had it perfect. It was perfect for my 48 yard pitch. The jury's still out for me on the pitches, but. Is that a flop shot, Jeff? Yes. Yeah. I added some to it, but. This is going to be a tester. Right, 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 right. I'll tell you what, if I get this within five feet, I'll be happy. 61, 40. Oh. 49 feet and half a foot uphill. Uh-oh, that's tracking. Good lag. Cheers. Ooh, 27 down 3. Oh, good putts. Get in, get in. Oh, I thought you'd drain another one. Oh. oh I tried. Hey, Kidney, um, yeah, this is probably, oh no, this is probably my uh, my one and only round because it's almost 10.30 here, so we played a stroke play, three ball stroke play uh, with turn order on on the new course, um, so it's taken us a little while to play, but it's been good to check out this new course. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Yeah, I do like the old water tower. Is uh, it would be nice to see them put? Uh, mind you, there isn't. Um, I was going to say, it'd be nice to see the old uh, water tower at. I think it's a water tower at uh, Firestone, but mm -hmm. they haven't. They haven't got Firestone as one of the official courses, have they? No. Right. 
no chance of me catching you now, Jeff. <laughs> Not unless you bogey and I eagle. That could happen. <laughs> On a par five. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do this. Nice clubhouse. Sorry. That's all right. I think I am going to try and loft this up and let that tiny little bit of wind help me here. Good ball. Thank you. Should be over 300. Yeah, 313. Makes that hole. He is going for that eagle. But yeah, I have to put it as far down there as I can just to try and uh, leave as short a shot as possible into the for my second into the green. 313, that should leave. 220 about into the flag. Nice strike. I'm actually really worried about what HB are going to do with the trajectory and all of that kind of stuff because I'm quite happy with the, the ball trajectory. It's just the physics of what happens when the ball hits the green. Right. Because if the greens are soft, I mean, anything, I was saying this, I think, in Phil's stream the other day, anything from pretty much from eight iron downwards so eight iron nine iron even seven iron you know seven eight nine and all the wedges should be generating some kind of spin yes um and especially when you put loft on the ball and that was the good thing about tgc1 and tgc2 when you added loft to the shot in other words you opened the club face it generated more spin Yep. Get up there. I mean, and you see people like, you know, Rory and Dustin Johnson putting the ball past the flag and, and, and getting it to spin back towards the cup. That's exactly yep. what you want to be able to do. But here you've got to put it you've got to put it twenty yards short of the flag just to get it to roll up anywhere near the hole. Yeah. And like you said, these clubs, like those those types of clubs, inherently have spin on them. But try and get them to spin back. Yeah, I mean, the if, only one that the you only put one that... on it to get it to spin back, then you're way short. Yeah, I mean, the only one that really does a good job of stopping is the gap wedge, and that pretty much stops within a couple of feet. That's a great shot. That's another great eagle opportunity I you've got there. <sighs> Mate, why do you always have? Just puts me under <laughs> unnecessary pressure. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. Get up there. Oh, it didn't turn. It went the other way. I think I saw Phil do All that right. as well when he played. He allowed for the slope that was coming round from the right to the left, but it went the other way. Should have known. Should have gone straight at the flag, to be honest. Good leg. Nice weight on that putt. Nice weight. All right, let's see if we can get this eagle. It's not an easy putt. No, it's not. Wow, how did that come up so short? That was downhill. Uh, I, don't, I think it was up just a little bit uphill right where you were at standing. Weird. I was wanting you to spin back around so I could get a look from the other direction of my putt.
Yeah, yours came up short as well. Yours was uphill though, wasn't it? Yeah, mine's down. See, that's, I mean, that's still got five inches between here and the hole to go downhill. Right, seven under after that disastrous double bogey in there as well. Nice ten under there. Nice, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, nice job, Jeff. Thanks. And I'm, I'm just proud of myself for shooting a no bogey round. Doesn't yeah. happen very often. Yeah, good round. Thanks for good rubbing round. that. Thanks for rubbing that in there, Bart. Oh, sorry. I just meant it doesn't <laughs> happen for me very often. You guys do it all the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that course. That was a good round. Thanks for having yep. me in, Tim. Yep. Ah, no, yeah, thank yeah, thanks you. Thanks for having me, Tim. And Jeff, too. Yeah, no problem. Anytime, anytime, chaps. Um, you know, I'll always, uh, I'll always have anybody in the stream. It's always good fun to have people to to chat along with, other than just sort of sitting on my own and having a bit of a banter with the live, well, with the people in the chat. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, and thanks to everybody in the stream that is uh, that's been watching. Uh, thanks to everybody that's contributed in the chat. Uh, David, I will jump straight on to the messenger now and send you that code for the game so you can uh, you can get playing, fella. Um, and yeah, thank you very much to everybody. If you did enjoy this and you haven't yet hit that like button, feel free to do that. If you're new to the stream and you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you'd like to leave some comments, I know it was a little bit disjointed to start with. I'll probably... Delete that first stream and leave this one up online because the first stream was no golf in there at all. So thank you very much. Thank you to Jeff and also to Bart for joining me. And I will see you again soon, guys. And Take thank care. you for having me, Tim. Right. And uh, yeah, I went to the to my phone and hit smash the like button. Oh, <laughs> you're a good man. Thank you very much. I'm Take a little care. biased. <laughs> <laughs> Take okay. care, guys. Good evening. Enjoy it, Tim. See you Take later. Bye-bye.